hip hop, triple H, hey. Hot hip hop here, back in with the latest news. And today, we have the NYPD cops trying to get a handle on the spate of gun violence that's plaguing the current neighborhoods. The city has run up against a special brand of warfare inflamed by riotous rap lyrics. An article posted by the New York Daily News stated that rappers are getting killed over slights and beefs is sadly nothing new. The industry and music fans are still mourning the East Coast West Coast rivalry deaths of Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G. in the late 1990s. But this train is something different, investigators say, claiming the lives of talented artists before they barely even get a chance to launch their careers. Investigators say gang rivalry is at the root of some of the latest shootings involving rap musicians, but the drill rap genre, born of violent and gritty street life and characterized by a grim and deadpan delivery, only adds fuel to the gang warfare fire. The music definitely inflames the situation, says NYPD Deputy Chief Joseph Gulada commanding officer of detectives in Brooklyn South, but these are gang shootings. I think sometimes rap and lyrics ignite cause some issues, but I don't think that's the underlying motive at the end of the day. Just last week, rising Brooklyn rapper T. Dot Wu was fatally shot outside his home just hours after signing a record contract. No arrests have currently been made for that shooting. Dobson is credited for inventing the viral Wu Walk dance, a move so popular that Cardi B is on video teaching it to her husband, Offset. On January 27, Brooklyn rapper Nas Blicky barely survived a gun ambush that left him wounded in the back and legs. Cops and relatives said the entertainer, whose real name is Nazir Fisher, was surrounded outside a deli on Rogers Avenue in Prospect Lefferts Gardens and gunned down as he ran for his life. No arrests have been made. His parents said he was ambushed by rivals after a round of bitter trash talking on social media. They said that he was so put off by the shooting and the culture that he plans to give up his stage name and reinvent himself. Many people want him dead, Fisher's stepfather said. I told him he's better than that. You want him dead? He's dead. He'll be back with better music and better lyrics. So that was a story that was reported on by the New York Daily News. It seems that the drill scene in terms of the crimes that's been going on has been getting more mainstream attention and even a popular news outlet like the New York Daily News is starting to report on it, which is pretty crazy. I also think it's interesting how they put that information about now it's Blicky in there about him dropping his stage name and wanting to change his ways and turn away from that drill lifestyle. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think Nas Blicky is going to change his ways and kind of just turn away from the streets and the street life and all the effects that comes with it? What do you guys think? Make sure you let us know below in the comments. Like, subscribe, turn on those notifications to see when our next video is going to be coming out. Appreciate y'all. And as always, I'd hip hop.